tight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Well, James. Nope. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. <laughs> it happened. No. <laughs> how how weird is that? How weird is it that it, that it happened? Right. Should we have? Should. Should I just be like, no, it's obviously not weird. Do you know what I mean? Like, I knew if they could, they would. But I still don't think they can't, and they did. Um, for those of you just tuning in, we're talking about the impeachment inquiry, Obby. obviously, for uh, the Donalds. Um, the strangest thing about this to me is doing a show like this. We were live on air yesterday as this was happening right even as it was happening in the back of my mind i'm still like yeah this is kind of this is kind of bullshit as it picked up i was like yeah maybe maybe um now they're gonna release this the transcript of this call or it's it's now notes apparently right it's notes so it's not <clears throat> the exact transcript which i'm sure they can dispute because it's not the exact word for word it's notes that someone was taking five pages of notes uh, apparently, so far, they have nothing. Right. So, I guess there's more inquiry than that, but they did sort of read the um, excerpt in question. Right. And there was no wrongdoing from that. So, from the notes, there isn't. But, as we know, they will not take that You can for he, an answer. Because here's the thing. You can create a conspiracy Right. Or an inquiry for something like this by saying, well, there is no transcript. It was just exactly. notes. He might have said exactly. more. He so might have done this. There's no real. They might have said more or uh, even on Trump's side. It's like it's not a real transcript. I mean, we're going off somebody's notes. Notes. That they yeah. wrote. So f I think for both sides. It can work, but. It's just it's, an optics thing. It's the thing. same thing with the, the Russia thing. but I, yeah. So, right. It, you're right. It is an optics thing. Okay. That's all it is. They know they don't have anything. But, but to a lot of people that don't even understand what impeachment is, which is he's not getting out of office for it. It's just going to be a lot of a trial, bullshit long, time. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like Clinton wasn't no, gone. He never, until people he left People say office. impeached, but it's like, it's just that they have to testify. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's when not going to be what you. When I look at this, I really try to figure it out because if you don't have hard evidence of something crazy that's going on, I try to figure out what the overall play is for something like this. And I think part of it is the. Sorry, just really quick. I think part of it is blocking the whistleblower. So that's the other part that they're trying to get him on. But go ahead. Which, even then, I don't. Really care because who, who is it? You, you know right, right. who is it, and what what's their agenda? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people were speculating it was the guy that was fired. So yeah, I, who knows? Right. Um, I mean, obviously we'll find out as the days go on. Uh, but to me, I try to f I try to look at the big picture mm -hmm. and what the biggest play is out of this. And the only thing that I could really genuinely come up with, right, is look they've tried to get him out for fucking since the day he took office. Yeah. Um, which you're 13 months out from the election. I'm an election. It's just a weird. Just vote, time. motherfucker. Just get your people to vote for your candidate. That's it. 13 months. He's gone anyways. If everything you say is true in the media and yes, everybody hates him. It should be a simple vote, right? And he would be gone. That's what I keep going back to is I think, I think at a certain point last night, because Pelosi went in there again when we were on air mm -hmm. and she said she was going to go in there at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. I think at this point, with the new radicals who are in there, right? They keep calling the squad or the freshman class or whatever. Sure. Uh, th that party is split in two. And I don't think they had a choice but to go in and say, all right, where are we at with 2020? Like, where are we really at? Because right now, as we talked about on this show, uh, Elizabeth Warren is in the lead, apparently. Yeah, and I am. Um... And they're not stoked about that on the Democrats because that's too far left for them, right? They really wanted Biden. They still want Biden. They still want Biden. Um, this helps the Biden case, right? 
If yeah. Trump was on the phone asking him about Biden's kid, mm-hmm. uh, clearly he was probably trying to get dirt for the upcoming yeah, election. Yeah. I, I don't think that's illegal, but, um, you know, look, if you did Ill- illegal business dealings over in another country, that's illegal. For, I think if you're asking another country about uh, to give you information that mm-hmm. they may have about people in your country, I think that is illegal. Is it though? that is like getting trying to get an, he was basically trying to get. So they say get another country to meddle in our politics, right? Our election or whatever, because he was basically in the transcript. It sounds like he's asking for uh, Hillary's emails as well. Right. So it sounds like it's very uh, code worded mm-hmm. and they can't really decipher it yet as far as like just the reporters reporting it. But f- their speculation is that that's what it sounds like. That's what they're going to go with is that he was asking you UK- Ukrainian president. Right. Uh, about if he has some kind of server, he was asking about a server. Anyways, it's all going to boil down to a big nothing or a little something. Right. But that's not really what they're concerned with. Yeah, but I so l- let's let's go to what I think they're concerned with, right? This mm-hmm. is my guess. Mm-hmm. I think they they had a long meeting and sat down the, the Democratic side and yeah. said, "Hey, we don't have a candidate right now that is gaining any traction to beat him in 2020. Right. So we either go all on go go all in on this impeachment thing, mm-hmm. and hopefully that sticks." And we're able to get him out in 2020 and or at the same time getting Biden back up in the polls. Right. With the same thing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Or they, they're, they're saying to themselves, hey, man, this like it, it's it's throwing in your cards at this point. Right. Like you're just saying, all right, look, we're going all in on impeachment and all in on these on these candidates, all of them, because mm-hmm. even Biden, I don't think this helps. If let, let's no, say something doesn't. comes back about his kid and this yeah, thing. Exactly. So doesn't really help him either. No. Um, I think that they went all in on this and, and said, look. it also shows that he's pu- been a part of this and he's in the machine and that's what they're, Warren will definitely say that. Yeah, of course. And they're going to use it in the debates and all that other shit mm-hmm. and uh, the Democrats that are upcoming. Um, but I think they just said, hey, man, this is going to, this is it. And this will eat up the news cycle for the next 13 months. Um, it's going to completely bury all of our candidates. So we either need to go all in on this, on impeachment, or hope that we have a candidate that's strong enough. Mm-hmm. And I think that they got behind closed doors and said, all right, man, if it is Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden, do they have a shot here at winning? Yeah. Um, and I think they probably said no. And then yeah. let's go for the impeachment thing. Right. And hope for the best. Um, just from a pure strategy standpoint, because I, I wouldn't, if you were a strong candidate, no need for this. Like, Hey man, we can get him out of here anyways. Uh, doesn't matter. Like mm-hmm. our candidate is definitely yeah, going yeah, to beat yeah. him in so 13 So they tried months. to see what people could do, what kind of traction they could gain. And then at the nth hour, we're like, I think our only thing is impeachment. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I think that's the only thing that's, uh, that makes sense to me at this point. Because when you go this hard, right, you've now pushed it to the limit and uh, all your threats and everything is now coming true. If it is not true and it does not work. You just gave him the 2020 election, right? Because it's just uh, every they American is going to be like I, they underestimate uh, his base and how he can spin this to actually work in his favor. So, and I think if there was anybody that was dormant from his base, this is now going to re-energize his base yeah. and uh, presidential harassment. Yeah, a witch hunts. So you can keep that narrative going, they right? They love a witch hunt. They do. They love. We all do. Sure. Look, you know who's on Drinking Bros tonight? Come on, kids. We got Alex Jones on tonight. I've got Alex motherfucking Jones on tonight. Uh, the my... unmistakable voice. Ah, there Alex. we are, Ross. Yeah. Good to see you, Ross. Oh, my gosh. Boy, um, and, and the, the reason why I bring him up is I would have loved to have interviewed him yesterday. However, it was Friday, so when you hear it, uh, obviously I'm, I timestamp it at the beginning, but um, man, I bet you he's going all in because he's on air right now. Uh, he goes live every day, but um, mm. he, uh, yeah, I bet you he's all in right now on this. And uh, it would have been a dream to get his thoughts on this, but never in a million years would I even have thought to ask the question of like, you know, what do you think? 
I, this gonna... about this weird Ukraine, like I, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, if this fails, though. That's it. You just handed hand, handed him the 2020 election, and maybe that's what they said to themselves, anyways. Of like, hey, our candidate can't win, so either he's going to, or we're going to get this impeachment thing, and that's it. Um, but I don't know about why this particular time. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's only something that they will know behind closed closed doors. Uh, but yeah. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Because the Senate still has to vote on whether to impeach him or not. Uh, Republicans have the Senate, so that's not going to happen. Um, unless there was something crazy in this, you know, transcript. That's right, look. We will we'll know in 48 hours. Obviously, this will be dissected by. Yeah, Every and then we'll talking head, definitely talk us. about it on the news. Yes, so, on Drinking Bros News. Yeah. So tune in, tune in to that show Thursday night. But uh, yeah, uh, super strange, super fucking strange. Is it though? Um, I, I'm, I, I'm actually genuinely surprised. Like oh, for, for I'm real, not. Um, because this is so serious that again, it gives you no options. Where right. look at the last election, all the way down. I would say the last what six months of that election, it felt like every 48 hours there was something crazy that was happening that, that maybe could have changed the dynamics and swung the vote one way or the other. Mm-hmm. You remember that shit? You remember watching like the circus and everything where you were like, oh man, there's the Stormy Daniels thing and then there's the yeah, Billy yeah, Bush yeah. thing and then there's the, yeah. the Hillary Clinton might have uh, you know, epilepsy right. and she's using a green screen for her crowds right. and all that stuff. And I'm like... Every day, it felt like a twist and turn of like, man, I, I don't know who's going to win. I don't know yeah. who's going to do this. You always have that hope in every election, right? Even, you know, dating back to, I'd say when I really started following this like closely was probably, probably say uh, 08. Or no, I'm sorry. Probably 2000 is when I probably started following this closely, right? Mm-hmm. And you had the hanging chads in Florida, and that was a massive story. Remember, nobody won the election. Yeah, Bush yeah, Gore, yeah. and it was just like, what's going to happen? Oh, Politics yeah, yeah, yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Um, you, and you had the impeachment earlier, that year earlier with Bill Clinton, right? With the, the Florida Monica Lewinsky recount. And, yeah, the Florida recount and all that other stuff. Was like yeah. And then, governor. Uh, and then remember in 08 when McCain threw a Hail Mary. Because he was down in the polls and he got uh, Sarah Palin on his VP. Remember oh, that last yeah, ditch effort yeah, yeah, where it was yeah, just yeah. like, I know who's going to be my vice president, this chick from Alaska, and we're going to try to make this work. Um, and it was great for one second. It was really and great for about a month, right? It all came tumbling down. Tumbling yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you do something like this, it leaves out the possibilities of everything else to me because this will now blanket Every other fucking thing you can try to come up with, any other piece of dirt you could try to do, you'd be like, well, look, man, because the Russia thing turned out to be a massive failure, right? Right. And to take a risk to repeat that failure, fuck, man. It's just so massive that it's like you're, if it fails, 20, you're just handing them 2020. That's it. You're all done. doesn't matter who, what candidate's up there. You just gave them 2020 because you guys look like the whiny party. That was just out to get him, and it proved everything that he was saying right, that it was a yeah. witch hunt and a hoax and all of this stuff. Yeah. So it's a, it's a big move, and it's the last move to me. It really is. It's the last chess move, and it's like, all right, cool. I would have killed to have been a fly on the wall for that Pelosi meeting yesterday of, of what it was and who made the final decision and why. Because mm-hmm. I'm sure she was in there with everybody, right? And we already know where the new people are coming from. Uh, and then politics is politics. Like wh- where people align with this shit. Like, uh, and why, more importantly. Um, I got a, a crazy interesting email this morning from a, for the redistricting thing, right? From a mom who said, hey man, I lived in your district. Mm-hmm. And I worked on, I worked on one of the, the boards mm-hmm. um, in like 10 years ago or something. Mm-hmm. And uh she goes, I, you know, I don't know if you'll ever read this. I'm not going to say her name on air. She mm-hmm. goes, I don't know if you'll ever read this. But she was like, if you only knew the crazy politics behind the scenes, it would blow your mind. And I said, so I wrote her back. And maybe, either maybe we can get her on the show or we can just read what she said mm-hmm. on the show. But uh, my response was this. I was like, because we live in a, a town with like a quarter million people, right? 
uh, my response to her was this. I was like, in a small town, it doesn't seem like it would go on, right? And I was like, that blows my mind. Because I, I, at a big scale, like, like Trump, right? Mm -hmm. You totally expect sure. it. Uh, even like maybe a, a senator or a governor, I could see that. But not in like, a, in like small towns, because let's face it, it's, it's not just our town. There's a million towns across America. They all have boards of school boards or, or mm -hmm. whatever they are, right? If it is going on in small towns, how filthy is politics all together then? I mean, Jesus. Yeah. And then what do you, well, I guess, what do you do at that point? Like, uh, do you run? I have a friend running right now. You, you've, you've obviously known him, uh, Alex Carletos. Um, I have okay. An, I have another friend from Georgia, too. What's I'll he running? I'll shout him out, too. His name is Jeff Smith. I went to high school with him. Um, he's running as well in Georgia. And uh, uh, I've been seeing all his stuff on social media, and it's awesome. Like, uh, by the way, whatever party you voted for, Republican or Democrat, I truly don't care. The fact that you're trying to run and make a difference in office, I don't know what my buddy's running for. I don't know if he's a Republican or a Democrat. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Um, but uh, Alec, I obviously know he's Republican. Right. Uh, whatever you're running for, it's admirable because it's, it's not a high paying position and uh, whatever, right? Uh, you're, you're trying to do good in the world, I feel. Um, I feel. I or feel. is it part of something else? Uh, but Alec's running and uh, the candidates, like this, their election isn't until next year. And it's some district in, I want to say Washington, I believe, like it's a tiny thing. Like the candidate already came out and like made a commercial against Alec. I was just like <laughs> about him being on the the subway a year, a year in advance mm. for this tiny district, and I was like, "Whoa, what the mm -hmm. fuck, man!" I was like, "That's crazy." It's it dirty, man. It is all the way down, like from and I guess from every town and city and in all of it. But uh, man, at that level, I can't even imagine. I honestly cannot even imagine. Yeah, uh, but it's got to be. From everybody who's there and in, in it right now in D.C., it seems to me very Hollywood, where it's just politics, but Hollywood, where everybody's having secret lunches and dinners and planning mm -hmm. behind the scenes about little takeovers and little stuff. And like, mm -hmm. uh, I kind of like that element to it where it's like, oh, all right, I, I kind of understand what's going on there, right? Yeah. Trying to get somebody to do something else or say something else for a certain reason. And uh, I like to think that it's like Veep. Yeah, and yeah. I think, I think right? in in a lot of ways it is, and so that's just the way I think of it. Probably is. Yeah, it's a lot of moving pieces, puzzles, money to this, putting this there for that to happen, strategically placing this person in place for when you need this to happen, and yeah, you know, yeah. more importantly, I peppered sp pepper sprayed myself last night. Ah. I you went to have say. I went to have na nachos. Nachos, that's how you say it. Yep. That I got nacho nachos. Proper Spanish pronunciation for that Nachi, word. Nachi bitches. Yep. Nachos. Yeah. Uh, all to myself, whole plate. Anyway, it was only cheese and pepperonis, fresh ones. Okay. Why pepperonis on the nachos? Not pepperoni, jalapeno. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> man, that'd be a weird. I was like, where did you go? Did you go to Olive Garden for that? Those nachos? Now or? I'm like, wait a minute. That sounds good. No, I wouldn't a do that. Peppero a, a pizza nacho. Pizza no. nachos. Nope. Not at all. That is not Ooh, going to happen. Ooh, fun with like a tomato type thing. Not on my watch. A thicker chip. Anyways, I'll workshop that one. Yeah. Any, so I must have picked up a hot, because they were fresh jalapenos. Okay. Not pepperonis. Where'd you go? What was, um, the, what was the restaurant? Beer Barrio. Oh, shit. I love Beer Barrio. That's yeah. one of my favorites, by the way. If you're in Wilmington, North Carolina, I know, and it was like, I did, it's like where I love their you food. go. I don't want to, you know. I love their food. And we had been talking on the show about nachos. So I was like, well, now I need to go get nachos you go get somewhere. Um, and so I must have picked up a jalapeno. Somehow okay. on the chip with my finger, went to bed, doing my nighttime sure. routine CBD. to go to sleep, yeah. all the things, yeah. and just like something rubbed my eye, you know, just Oof. a little, just rubbed I've my eye that. before bed, yeah. and it was painful, embarrassing, I didn't know it was happening. 
It was shit. like and pepper I was, spray, I was and it was like a fucking seed. Was I was upstairs my, working last night. Yeah, I'm and I was sorry. Just like, <laughs> I was just like, couldn't breathe. I'm like splashing shit in my eye, trying to make a water washing bath with yeah. my eyes and visine, and I could not open it. Just running around, running into things in the room by myself. So it's far, I, so just more important. Yeah, I, I actually had a similar stitch last night. Um, so while you're downstairs <laughs> doing that, I'm upstairs because my parents uh, just moved here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's nice to have the family close and mm. all that stuff with the kids. I want to spend more time with the grandkids. So I'm super stoked about it. Um, but they're staying in our house. Mm-hmm. So uh, they're, they're, well, their new house is ready now and they're going to. I think it's ready now. Yeah. They're yeah. going to move in. So we're all good there. But last night I had to do work. And I had to listen to, you know, you're trying to keep the lights off uh, upstairs. I was at least, right? Because I'm at the big glowing computer. And sure. I'm like, I don't want to throw the brights on, too, on top of that. And, yeah, we uh, have old school, like old doctor's doors in our house. Do, yeah. So it's like yeah. uh, school light doors. Shun- yeah, so they Correct. like, they're actually, yeah. yeah. A couple of them are doctors. Mm-hmm. Old doctor's we office some school doors, doors or whatever. So anyways, doors, there's like, like glass very on our inside door, so light is blast through there. Through. So I'm trying to work on the trailer for the Alex Jones interview and, and get all that stuff out. And I, I on that, the Mac desktop, right? Mm-hmm. The keyboard is thinner than, you know, goddamn. Me? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, yeah, blammo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the volume on that say was thinner than an anorexic. Sure. Um, after Montezuma's Revenge, but I, R- like I'll I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Um, super thin keyboard, and I couldn't find the volume thing when I did for it. Imagine Alex Jones screaming at the top of his lungs through the computer. Hey, fuck out! Oh, you know, I was god. like, oh my god. I'm sure, and your it, parents were like, pack up. I Pack was, it up. We're yeah. leaving tomorrow. I was sitting a foot in front of it, and I was blasted out. I can't imagine what that echo went down the hallway, and I'm like, oh, my God. Then I'm trying to give trailer notes because um, one of our editors is out of town, and so I'm in the other room. I'm religiously stepping on every single toy that our children have mm-hmm. trying to get into the other room to close the door to make this phone call mm-hmm. i felt like i was at home alone last yeah, night yeah 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 it's nice to know that you're in the same that boat. i was in the <laughs> same boat downstairs and we're just uh ridiculous yeah so eh, i'm happy to know that at least you know we oh okay thank you samesies. i'm glad i'm we glad you're happy levels. yeah happy that i pepper sprayed myself yeah kind of it makes me feel better because right, I home alone myself last night. Just, <laughs> God bless it, man. I stepped on every. I was just the last thing was like a like a paint can, just ready to, you know. A paint? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just so you like just teetering on the top shelf, right over your face. head. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, God, what else can go wrong up here tonight? Got you, got you, got you. Um, yeah. There was like a, a glass of red wine. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and set this downstairs. Nowhere near anything that I'm doing. Yeah, because this is not going to end well. No, no. Sure. Uh, and then I went down, you know, before, before rest, before I took a rest. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I kind of tried, tried to catch up on all the news and all the mm. Fox and CNN and just to see what the, the scuttlebutt was and everything. And, uh, you know, this is just going to rage on Forever. Forever. Uh, we got more important shit to talk about today, James. What? In particular, our sponsors who pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air. First Absolutely. First and foremost, talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Um, it, when you have one of these mattresses in your house, you count down the seconds until you can go to sleep. And I did not go to sleep until very late last night. You didn't, and either did I, and tonight I have a date with my ghost bed. Yeah. Uh, the date starts around 7. Mm. You mm-hmm. don't say. Uh, I got a little... Uh, sure. Ambien. Yep. From a friend. Ah, okay. I'm going to take a nibble. Uh, I don't know if that works. I think you have to take the whole thing. She said take a half. Oof. Maybe her her dosage is intense. Have oh, you ever taken okay. that before? Yeah. Okay. It's the most amazing thing. Oh, for you? Ever. Yeah. Didn't make it's, a dent for me. I don't uh, like to 
hallucinate? No, I don't like to take... Talk to the spirit world? I don't like to eat without knowing it, right? See your great-great-grandmother? <laughs> 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 I don't like to take tequila shots, so... Yep. Uh, I don't like to, I don't want to ever get addicted to something for sleep. That's the scariest thing. I know. For me. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I like to try on my own, you know, or natural things, yeah. CBD, things like yeah, this. Yeah. The ghost bed has really helped. It's great. As far as me not, like there are some nights that I don't, and this is crazy to say, don't have to do anything. And that has only been since the ghost bed days. But... Uh, the ambient, the right before you fall, sure. fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, you bet. That moment of like, this is going to be awesome. You know you say that all the time? Elvis Presley. Really? That yep. ambient? No. Or uh, he was taking, I, I think he was taking Xanax or something else, but he was just like, you know what it is. Or Valium or and something. And he goes, yeah, whatever it was, whatever pill he was. He Quaalude. goes, he goes uh, they were like, what's the best part about it? And he's like, it's that half hour before, Ooh. that 20 minutes right before. And he goes, that's the best. Um, look, you can't get that with a ghost bed. I don't know if they're going to partner up with them but uh with uh <laughs> quaaludes <laughs> old school elvis quaaludes that would be awesome lemons oh man could you imagine dude you, ghost, you bed, and a ghost bed and lemons oh my gosh but Forget yeah it. so that's if my... you don't have children why not <sighs> fuck ghost bed and so lemons? last night the babe slept all night at least till seven really yeah it was mm-hmm. a miracle. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, probably uh-huh. we know why he uh-huh. slept right. till that because he was up before. But we'll uh, see. Either way, he we'll doesn't. See. Have a... I'll look. At, I'll check the tape. Yeah, check the tape. He I've doesn't have a ghost na- bed. I had a nanny cam on you, so yeah. I'm going to check the tape. Check the tape. Um, also, he does not have a ghost bed, so maybe. And that's that the... may be the problem. Yeah. I go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today if you're uh, long winded, a member of the military or or a first responder. You can get fifteen percent off. As always, thirty six month pay as you go program. No interest at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, mattresses, pillows, all that shit. And they got they've always got deals over there. Pop on over. Uh, next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Uh, Shabloink. Blank blanks. <laughs> um, look, Strike Force is Listen. keeping me going today. I put it. I put some in the kombucha. Uh, I had to. I don't know if this has become like a placebo effect for me in this kombucha, but I feel like it is it's because not. of quit it because of the schedule that has been so fucking crazy. You cannot be a health food denier anymore. Go I, ahead. I, no, I'm not. I'm not. It's just. Oh, you're saying for that particular brand of kombucha, there's no way that it's I don't know the same that it used to be. Yeah, I don't know. possibly yeah. because it's I see it everywhere and I yeah, can actually yeah, buy yeah. this everywhere. It's basically, like Pepsi at this point. I you're feel like, better about it if I can, if like oh, I've never seen that kind. Maybe they have a secret. Maybe kind. it's like totally bespoke and artisanal. Exactly. But with that, there is no energy in this that I gain. Therefore, I put some strike force in it. Got it. Um, like the combo. So, eh, so put a little strike force. Get on about my day. It's what I'm doing now. Uh, no carbs, no sugars, last longer than five hour energy. And you can just put in your pocket and go into games, parties, do whatever you want, man. Uh, everybody's doing this shit now. Um, I want to hope that they give us credit for this because I've been championing this product for four years uh, and I fucking love them. Yeah. And I, I wish I, I, I wish I owned part of it. I don't, I don't, I own nothing in this, uh, but they are a sponsor and I'm amped. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com Four amazing flavors. They ship everywhere in the entire world. And, uh, you know, promo code REVOLUTION, get 20% off at strikeforceenergy.com. It's great for dieting, by the way. Um, it'll help you get away from... Uh, <laughs> Nachos? <laughs> nope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring I'm gonna bring this back to the dieting, too, in a second, um, because there was some breaking news that you need to know about. Uh, last but not least, straightrazors.com. Jabes, why don't you give us a little straight razors? Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you like it? Man. Ugh. I think it might be get, getting us banned on YouTube. Like, Why? Because the YouTube subscribers, like, it used to grow, like, crazy numbers. Now it's just, like, kind of dead. I wonder if enough people reported it and were like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh we better stop. It's fine. I don't give a shit. Um, you don't care about not having people be able to watch? No, no, no. They can always watch. Oh, They're not okay. going to take us down. Okay. Um, but... It's not a crazy source of revenue. So, like, um, you know, I, I look, I want it. Um, and I think a camera, Jamie, uh, probably just went down 
Uh, speaking of which, um, so hopefully I'm on the one right now as I'm talking about straightrazors.com. Uh, look, man, they got fucking everything you need to be a real man in this life. Probably that one. And uh, the shaving cream and the soap for the straight razors is amazing. Just an amazing product. I love it. It really is. Uh, for smell, dudes, yeah, good, as good as it gets. Smolder is my fucking jam. The Cologne is also Smolder, and that is my fucking jam. And uh, I'm a big, big fan. Big, big fan all the way around. So it's a, it's a distinct smell. Ah, isn't it though? Um, Very so you, distinct. Like in the same way that you're like, oh, is that Calvin Klein or oh, is that Oribe? You're like. Oh. Oh, is that? Is that straight razors? Is, this, is it uh, straight razors? Because I like it. Yeah, you do. I wonder if you are getting this band. I wonder if that's you. Probably, dude. Probably. I'm a fucking Thurnberg. <laughs> I'm a fucking regular Thurnberger. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Goddamn right what it you is? are. Thurn, Thurnberg? I don't, yeah. I don't know what that is, but uh, anyways, I'm going to kick it's, this back to this oh, diet Thunberg. thing. Oh, Thunberg. It's, it's Greta. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Greta, I'm a yeah. regular Thunberg. Yeah. You're a real Greta Thunberg, you are. I'm a real trailblazer. Yeah, you are. Um, so th- this is the breaking news here um, that I want to kick this back to the diet because we talked about this uh, a month ago, and you even called me on the road at one point, and you were like, dude... Is White Claws now a thing for you? Because if so, we need to have a talk about it. Yes. Um, so this is breaking news right now. Uh, Anheuser-Busch uh, buys first college hard seltzer sponsorship. So Natty Light Seltzer, which we talked about, mm-hmm. is now the official hard seltzer of the Big 12 con- conference, which is like Oklahoma, Texas. It's Gats. That's her conference. Okay. It's big, big deal. Okay. A lot of people raging. Uh, fuck, I was at the Texas game. Um, they did not have these at the Texas game. They you will were, now. You were having White Claw. Uh, no, it was Henry's is what it was. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, now that people are choosing and picking sides, I, I, look, I know why at this point. Like, and I, I really want to stress this to dudes out there who feel maybe a little unmanly about this. It is a higher alcohol content than beer. You can get fucked up faster. And the calorie, the caloric intake is like 100 on these fucking things for a whole. As opposed to a regular uh, beer. Yeah, man. Is... If you're gonna, like, I'll put it to this way, right? If you're going to have a Michelob Ultra, mm-hmm. I saw a friend of mine posing with a Michelob Ultra who had made fun of me for drinking a White Claw. And I was like, hey, bro, that is 10 calories less. And that Michelob Ultra, you're looking at like a three. I'm doubling up three? on you with a, with a White Claw. Yeah, it's about a three, 3.2, somewhere okay. in there. I'm doubling you with a White Claw. For ten calories more, and I'm going harder in the paint. You're gonna you're gonna shit on my brand, bro. Uh, no, no, I will not have that. Will not have that. I'm going harder in the paint. You're gonna shit on me, bro. Yes, yes. And it's like, come on, man. Um, so now colleges are picking sides on this. This this just broke right now. Oof, I gotta I gotta be realsies here with you. Does does this mean that Four Loco would have a shot at this? Or is that just way too much at 14? Have a shot of what? 14 proof. Is that way too much? The Big Ten Conference. That's Ohio State's. So if we can get it in there. I don't think they can go that high. Let's face it. It was my, 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 my brothers who invented it in Ohio. My roommates at Ohio State who invented Four Loco. Why? Why can we not the get version that, that was uh, killing all those kids, huh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. That was them, and so now mm-hmm. um, we're back, right? Back to back to killing, back killing to, no, people. No, we're not because they took 14%. the caffeine. They took the caffeine out of it. Sure. They took the caffeine out of it. But now we're making a beer, fourteen percent. Well, it's a hard seltzer. And so they're 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 coming out with a hard so seltzer. So now we're making a beer, fourteen mm-hmm. percent. Mm. Hard seltzer, in a yeah. fun, fun and flirty colors yeah. for the youth. Yeah, they just got rid of the you know the the flavored jewels for that reason too because they were yeah. like, oh, it's, they were fun and flirty. It's going to kill the kids. youth. Yeah, these are if you haven't seen these new Natty Light cans for the seltzer, these are even flirtier. Where you're like, oh, like if you were Aren't driving on the road with this, trying to make them a little bit manlier than White Claw, though. Aren't they trying to make it so like, hey guys, we see you're drinking Here, White Claw. Here's where I was going with this. Okay, 
What if you just did it like like somebody like me as a fucking hardcore dude seltzer where it's just like you just called it fuck you seltzer, you know, something aggr- uh-huh. aggressive, you know, uh-huh. dirt on my jeans seltzer. And you're the hardcore dude, huh? Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. I'm, this is the definition of man. Okay. Right and so you are, you're doing what? Homo erectus. Right? Okay? Homo erectus. You're doing what? You're like chopping wood? Yeah, chopping wood. Uh-huh. Just be like, hey, chopping wood seltzer. Fixing a car, right? Yeah. Yeah. Monkey wrench, grease, seltzer. Uh-huh. All stuff. Yeah. All the stuff. Changing the, a light. Yeah. Right? Putting up a shelf. You bet. All the stuff that you do. Yep. All Ross, the chainsaw. The face of man, the face of the Chainsaw manly seltzer. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're, so you're doing that commercial. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I want to do those okay, reads. And then what, and so what is it? Come on, boys. Come on, boys. <laughs> Grab a chainsaw. <laughs> ring a ying, ring a ying. And then it's, then you can have a whole thing that goes along with chainsaw seltzer where it's like, yeah, man. Chainsaw seltzer? Grab a chainsaw and meet me in the backyard. And you're like, oh, shit. You go back there and all how your, about boy, how all about your bros it? are drinking chainsaw seltzer back there. How about we call it boy juice? No. Hey, come on, nope. boys. No. Come on, boys. Let's get our boy juice no, on. No, not nothing like that. That sounds like a bunch of homosexual men. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. I think uh, I'm confused on what the commercial. Juice. Chainsaw seltzer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking ring, 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 tear into a can. <laughs> Chainsaw. And then just make it the most manliest shit of all time. Oh, that'd be great. It'd be so fucking good. That way, because I think what what would be the uh, the the, percentage on this boy juice? Fucking as high as the the government will allow it. Yeah, no, it's it's man juice. Oh, man juice. Man juice. Oh, man seltzer, dude. It's man juice is even better. Grab a chainsaw. Get your man juice. What's the yeah? uh, Fucking shoot your juice. Yeah, you know. Drink and and I'll drink it up, right? Yeah. So you're telling the guy to shoot his juice. Then you drink it up. Nope. Uh, you're giving it to a girl and you're saying, drink my man juice. You want to sip on my man so juice? So now it's for girl. I'm so no. confused by this commercial. It's, it's, it's two so things. So is the girl drinking it? So it's a guy. Because then it goes back to girl But it's a drink? guy going over to the girl saying, look, I want to I wanna get you a drink. Why don't you have a shot of my man juice? And then she has she has a like a boy juice. And it's like a. Um, a juice box. Nope. And you hit it out of her hand, right? No. You hit the boy juice out of her hand. You said, be done with the boy juice. No. Here's, now it's time for a man juice. Yeah. And you shove that nope. in her hand. No. Uh, I give her a chainsaw and I tell her <laughs> to fucking grab the, grab the reins of the chainsaw okay. seltzer. Now, I think I'm starting to get it. So okay. now. So here's my point to all of this, right? I think if you marketed this to dudes, right? Mm-hmm. Because they're, they're trying, and they've been trying for years with this, with, with Michelob Ultra. And it's, I remember Not when it very, work. very first came out, and I had some at a party, and you know, you're kind of trying it or whatever, and everybody's like, dude, I, no lie. Every dude on the planet will come up to you and say this. Are you drinking a fucking Ultra? Yeah. Is that, is that a fucking Ultra, dude? Right. And then you're just like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, you know. And I've heard every excuse from every dude of like, oh, I got to drive later. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm I trying have to, to lose drive later. 20, oh, 20 yeah, pounds. Or, yeah. yeah, I got to drive. Oh, I'm trying to lose 20 pounds. It's just like, all right, cool. Yeah. There is an, there is a, a strange embarrassment amongst men in particular to either be like, I'm not drinking, mm-hmm. or if you're trying to cut back uh, mm-hmm. carbs or whatever it is by saying an excuse of what you are drinking, right? Or what do you, what do you have to do with this? If you confront the problem head on and say, look, man. Why do I drink chain socks? I want to get fucked up. I want to do man shit. Man stuff. I want to. I want to p- fucking punch people in the face. Yeah. Yeah. I want to grab a chainsaw. Grab life by the chainsaw. Mm-hmm. That I think would dangerous. sell banana dick. Yeah, dangerous. To yeah. Do that. Banana dick. Just grabbing a chainsaw like that. Well, you got to grab the I mean, handle of it. D- you know. Grab life by the handle of a chainsaw. Yes. Because then when you're Cause grabbing, you will a, have to for insurance reasons say that. Well, here's here's the thing. Uh, blood, sweat, and beer could be, could be something there. Sure, might be something there. Might be something there. Uh, Jamie, something um, like a man juice. Yeah, I look. Right, Jamie. I'm gonna. I'm probably a man gonna. Juice? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Probably still gonna Boy go juice. with, with uh, grab life by the chainsaw. Grab life by the handle of the chainsaw. chainsaw and you yeah. have to say handle with kids then, these well, days. Well, here's yeah. the thing, right? Because it, it comes in like white claw and shit. Comes in packs of twelve. So does truly. Mm-hmm. Then that's your handle. Oh, blam. And yep. then it's the handle going into, and then it's like a picture of the chainsaw. Chainsaw on the side of the yeah, box. Yeah, Boom, yeah. dude. <laughs> hey, now I like it. 
I like that. So That's clever. I think it would help but dudes I have to say, overcome I do, that stigma. I like the leaning into it. I like, and I the first person I saw doing it was Brandon Bonfiglio. Yeah, yeah, one of my leaning friends. Leaning into the thing of like no claw, no laws when you're drinking the claws, and just leaning into the fact that he like, did it? hey, yeah, That's funny. Very early on, to where okay. I was like, it might have been an LA thing, you know, mm. earlier, or he's just he's pretty fucking cool, but. I think probably, he's and he's always like us too. We're watching the figure when you're yeah, drinking yeah, 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 and yeah, stuff. Yes, yes. So if it's not vodka soda, uh, he was drinking White Claws and was like doing it everywhere and I'm sure was getting a bunch of shit and was just like leaning in, right? So And so I'm loving that part of it though, where guys are just like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, and, and, and this is my statement into camera for our audience. I'm telling you this right now. If I'm at a fucking party these days, right? Anybody in your 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, right? 60s. If you're at a party these days and there's a, a cooler for, full of either beer or fucking hard seltzer and you're looking to get fucked up with less calories, I am grabbing the seltzer no matter what it is. Right. That's, that's these days. Unless it's like a craft beer from like a great place. Mm-hmm. Where I'm like, all right, great. I'll have that. Because like, at least the ABV is high enough where I'm just like, all right, sweet. I'm going to the danger zone here, you know? Sure, man. Give me an eight or a nine. Let's, sure, man. let's ride we're the coming pony. Into, we're coming into my season, red wine season. Sad boy fall, yeah. Um, Sad boy fall is perfect, so I'll fit right in. Whereas during the summer, the amount of shit that I would get for drinking a thick red. Oh, yeah. Well. It was a lot. Because you, you can't, uh, you can't. You can't drink a thick red out in the summertime. It wasn't a thick red. I mean, it would be like a Pinot much, Noir, man. but it's just the, I'm, I stay on brand. <laughs> no matter what the, the, the season. <laughs> Somebody got me like a nice cab the other day. I was like, oh, I have a cab for you. And they're like, oh, what do you drink? And I'm like, cab. I'm really easy to shop for. Yeah. It's part of my character. Yep. Like you, if you ever want to get me anything, you would know. Oh, Jesse would like that. Yeah. It's a cab. It's a cab around nine ninety nine to twelve ninety nine. <laughs> Jesse would love it, right? Yeah. Simple. Not, uh, what is I it? Keep nine, it, is it nine simple. crimes. Nine crimes. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's, that's all. That's all you need in this that's life. That's a good nine one. Crimes. I've been into some Josh Sellers and some ranch, and some ranch. And you're good to go in this and life. And I stay on brand. You do stand easy brand. to shop for me. Yes, easy uh, to pick me out of a crowd. Easy if you want to buy me a drink somewhere. Right? Yeah. We're at a show. We're at a live show. Whatever. You Cab. don't even have to ask me. No. Right? It's not like what are you drinking these days? Bring it up. Chainsaw juice, boy juice, man juice, white claw, Ross. What do you want? It's like they don't even have to ask me. Mm-hmm. They could just put it up there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's kind of just a little bit about me. Eh, it's a lot about you, you know? Too much. I, I, I would say that's pretty I would much. Say too much. Pretty much all of you, by the way. That's just me, huh? Red wine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think we've, we've Red figured wine it out. Wine and crime. Yeah. I think we're, uh, we've, we've figured everything out. Maybe we're all done here. Uh, yeah. Speaking of crime, Jabe's. You have a crime corner for us already? Yeah. Whoa. I here's the thing. So I'm gonna tell people before I give it the traditional crime corner, crime corner. Before we got in today to the studio, you were making furious notes. You were on your computer for the mm. first time that I've ever seen in this life, um, looking up stuff, like just really researching and everything. And I was like, "What are you doing?" And you were like, "I've got this crime corner I'm gonna do today." And I was mm. just like, "Okay." cool man but like i've never seen you write down notes and names and places and things and i was just like what is what is really happening here i was like i'm not writing down names places and things you weren't i was writing down my detectives ah okay because i thought because you were doing you notes have to go cross-referencing to... things uh-uh this one's a short and sweet one but it thank is. you it yeah. is the one that i'm doing on our next show is a cross-referencing bigger intricate story that two ah. people sent me the one today is one that I can't, I can't ignore it if 10 people freaking sent it to me. Do you okay. know what I mean? So, like all on one day. All right. So if, if 10 people sent it to you, right, I want to give them the time they deserve, the value of it, and I want to give them a hard crime corner, crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. 
Um, okay. So I'll start with the detective, yes, right? Yes, please do. Are these real names or are these handles? These are real names. So this is why I went, it would look like I was furiously doing notes because this is what I have to do. Okay. I have to go to the DMs, go to their Instagram handle, and then find their real name from there uh, for everyone. Okay. Because it just shows up as the Instagram handle. And sure. That's not really how I want to do things. So I want to uh, thank for your hard work and diligence. Uh huh. Uh, Tim Fry, Greg Fox, Detective Garrett Weeks, Detective Burl Welch, Burl? Vanessa Gutierrez. Oh, what's up, girl? I saw I saw her and Trey at the uh, Texas LSU game. Great I know, people. and we Facetime with great them. Great people, yeah, man. They're the best. I love them. Well, I love her actually. So Vanessa, good. <laughs> you, don't, you don't love Trey? I love you, Trey. I mean, obviously, but yeah, I like Vanessa, Vanessa just a must. little bit. Sure, more. I, I don't it. know. I understand it. Uh, Janessa and John Patton. Okay. Ah. Good work, detectives. Uh, camel's testicles bitten by woman at Louisiana truck stop petting zoo. Ooh. Blamo. What, what's... There's a story behind it, in yeah. case you're wondering. There, there, so, I was just going to ask. Yeah, I yeah. bet you had a couple questions about that one, huh? Got a lot, How actually. does that work? Got a lot. Well, right? Well, I was gonna... So there's this truck stop. Yeah, I was going to start with, why is there a camel at a truck yeah. stop? So there's this truck stop that is, it's called the Tiger. Let's see. It's called the Tiger Truck Stop. Anyway, they have a petting zoo behind it. Mm-hmm. And they did have a uh, tiger they now only have this camel, okay, that just kind of sits behind there. Mm. This lady, um, Florida resident. Big shock. I driving was, through Louisiana. Now that, that cross section, nothing's, nothing good is going to happen with that. No. A Florida woman driving through Louisiana. You're at the, you're at the cross section of uh, chaos and dangerous. <laughs> and fucking debauch. Yeah. Straight debauch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. The essence. <laughs> of debauch <laughs> the quintessence um <laughs> i think we're gonna call this episode the essence of debauchery just for that yes the quintessence essence of uh, well not debauch. That, because people will just think that, that i, I I'm t- that you're having you a took seizure. some ambient and, and yeah <laughs> just fell asleep on the keyboard and oh hey man did uh, you print a show that's just she blew out through a bell yeah. in the renaissance of all oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the debauch Anyway, she was at the truck stop, petting zoo, mm. um, and she let her dog out of the car, as you do. He wasn't on a leash, ran into this petting zoo, and she followed him in to the enclosure where the camel was. The camel... So anyways... Yeah. 600-pound camel then sat on her. She said... <sighs> this is a quote from... From Florida resident lady. Okay. I bit his balls to get him off of me. I bit his testicles to get him off of me. I'm I'm assuming she's very aggressive when she's saying this. Sure. I bit his balls to get him off of me. I bit his testicles to get him off of me. Uh Uh-huh. So the woman was brought to the hospital. The deputies gave her and her husband summonses for for a trespassing charge and for not having the dog on a leash. Well, that was going to be my first... Charge probably. Oh, that was yeah. the first thing you thought. Why well, isn't that dog on a leash? Yeah, they're probably gonna get that one. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. The camel did nothing wrong. They were aggressive. The camel was just doing his normal routine. So they, they were have... running around, probably looking for the dog. Right. You know, trying to get the dog back, and the camel was like zoom bloom right yep. on top of her. I don't know how she got under. I don't either. Questions. Yeah. And this is what I like to do with the crime corner. I like to leave you with a couple questions. Sure. 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 And only a few answers, yeah. right? Yeah, and I like to have hardly you get like <laughs> hard to get any. To be honest, it's really hard to get any answers <laughs> with the crime corner. But anyway, um, the truck the truck stop once had a tiger, uh, provoking controversy. So they got rid of that. But uh, Pamela, who manages the truck stop, said the tiger had never attacked anyone, nor have a zoo's other wild animals, including Casper, which was the camel's name. So he's a gentle giant. He did nothing wrong. Casper. Casper, the gentle camel. He. Caspar. All right. So let me let me ask you this: D- Did he lose 
any testicles in this accident? No, I don't. He, he wasn't hurt. Well, I mean, he was clearly he hurt. Was if he was startled. Got his balls bit. Bit. Right. He was startled. Okay. She didn't draw blood. Because look, let's leave it at that. Okay. Because usually you get your balls bit. That is. It's just such an interesting um, scent. Imagine what, what reaction to have like. knee jerk reaction to if balls are coming into your face, camel or otherwise, you bite. Yeah. Right. Right. So I wonder what she's the an smell of gal. a camel sack is like. Enough to just bite your way out of it, I'm sure. I'm sure it's bad <laughs> enough to just be like, I don't care how I'm getting out of this. I could be eating this camel. Yeah. Yeah, man. I've never gone to that place, um, and I hope to never go there. My So here's my thing. My instinct, I would think, is to just like close my mouth and my eyes and everything, right? If, if a camel's sack is on my face. You don't want to breathe that Not in. Not to be like, yeah. open open up yeah, yeah, yeah. and bite. Yep. This is why you need to be Smart. watching the video show because that <laughs> your whole facial description of it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. is electric. Spot on. Anyways, good work, detectives. And um, again, no real answers on this one. Uh, mostly questions. Yeah. As usual. Yep, 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 yep. Um, whew. Uh, <laughs> I guess I said when I didn't want to go to that place, right? I, I don't, I don't like not the. I, I don't want to put this against the petting zoo. Was that okay. the petting zoo? Because mm-hmm. I, I would go to that. It's place. It's a truck stop with a petting zoo sure. behind it. Yeah. I, so I would go to that place. Um, I meant the place of it. that I had to bite a camel's balls, mm-hmm, or I felt mm-hmm. that was my only way out. I don't ever want to be in that place in my life. Um, yeah. Sometimes you can't avoid it, though. Yeah. You can avoid and it. And I like the camel's sense of humor about it. Am I going to kick you? No. Am I going to bite you? No, I'm going to sit on your fucking face. There's got to be footage though, right? Uh, no, I mean, there doesn't have to be actually. I know that it feels like in this day and age, there has to be a camera everywhere for everything. Yeah. Cause but I feel like at like a shitty little truck stop in Louisiana, it's pretty. Uh, maybe Bar for the course. Because I, I would say this, right? Not, I'm sure I, I would say in working. Louisiana, the chances of somebody getting drunk and hopping the fence and trying to knock a camel out with one punch is mm-hmm. pretty high, one would imagine. Sure. Therefore, I would have cameras everywhere because I would assume that somebody from Louisiana was going to get hammered and then just hop the gate and try to knock out a camel with one punch. Yeah. Because that's something everybody wants to know, right? Can you mm-hmm. knock out an animal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember cow tipping back in the day? Or did you guys ever do that? I probably didn't have it, did you? No. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did in Georgia. So I bet. people would do it. Here's the thing about it, though. You got to sneak up, and the cows are fucking heavy, man. So it's a good shove. It's not, it's not a light pat to get a fucking cow down. Mm-hmm. So, you know, one would have to assume that in Louisiana, because it's Louisiana, people would try to knock out an a alligator or a camel or an alligator. To knock it out? Yeah, just one punch. I'm sure it's happened, right? I mean, that's pretty, I think that's in the category of animal abuse, no? Yeah, because we had that story so about the guy kicking tipping. the I know swans. we like think it's, yeah, just full on. Yeah, by the way. I, roundhousing I, swans. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tipped a cow, so I felt bad. I saw it done, okay. and I felt bad for it, and I was like, Yeah, Man. I know people talk about it like it's funny, but in my mind, it sounds horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, okay. It's terrible. I felt bad, like, we were just like, yeah. That's... You didn't do it, so you're telling me you didn't ever do it. Yeah, because, like, I'm, I'm all for hunting and everything. Sure. Right? Um, weird big game in, like, Africa or some shit where it's like, I'm, I'm going to kill a giraffe, or I'm going to kill a fucking mm-hmm. tiger. Eh. It's like, why bother at that point? It's not for us, but I think just but if you're pushing meat, a cow over uh, just to be a little meat, like shit. Like deer hunting and all that other yeah, shit yeah, is yeah. great. But sure. uh, just pushing a cow over and not doing anything with it, it's kind of... I yeah. don't like it. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. Um, Want to get into the Demi Moore thing? Uh, she's got a memoir coming out. And they're starting to, re- to release uh, excerpts of it. She's doing all the talk shows. Okay. If you've seen her out, because I've seen her yeah, out yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I was like, oh, she's doing a movie? No, she's got a new book. Um, it's called Demi Moore Inside Out. If you don't remember how crazy her life was, like it was nuts. Like back in the day, yeah. Remember the eighties? She was like the Rat Pack and all that shit. Like, yeah. You go back and watch all those. Oh, movies. she had to go rehab. I think right. Yeah. Mm. She had to go rehab right before fucking Sam Sam Elmo's That's fire. That's right. She got out right and went right a week into before, filming. Yeah, right into the audition or something. Um, so she's got a crazy life, and she's been famous forever. 
the weird thing about it for me is like I didn't see his movies till I was older because I was too young for that. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, and then when I did see him, they all hold up. By the way, like Less Than Zero, you can pop on Less Than Zero and all that shit. Like all those movies from the eighties. Oh yeah. Like they they all pretty much like uh, Ferris Robert Bueller Downey's, was on. Robert Downey's facial hair is questionable right now, but like he's held up for sure. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Yeah. Dude, go look at his performance in Less Than Zero. I mean, pull that up today. Oh no, I watched, I've seen it many times. Drop today, like, dude, it would still be I've just seen as it awesome. Many times, he was super fucked up on that. She was in that whole circle. Mm -hmm. She used to run with all those guys. So I'm sure this book is fucking crazy. However, the one that they were focusing on today was this Ashton Kutcher thing. She was married to Ashton Kutcher, mm -hmm. and uh, Did she talk about their swinging. Yes, I didn't. Do you know? You knew that? I knew that. I hung out with them for a little bit in Sundance. <laughs> a little bit. Did you hook up with them? No. My God. Jade. I didn't. I didn't. Would I have? Probably probably not. Okay. Like I'm one of those where I'm like, yeah. And then when it really comes down to it, I'm like, yeah, I got to go. Grease. I'm going to yeah. go. Yeah. Um, I'm going to eat some nachos. So, uh, no, I did not. But it, they were definitely on the prowl for that. Ah. That evening. And... So all through this Sundance, it was 2011, I think, but they were just like ma making out furiously. I saw them at two different parties, hung out with them for a second at one. Okay. Furiously making out. Like to a point where you're just like, hey, bro, <laughs> like, they've been married for a while. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. like kind of a, we get it. <laughs> you guys are here hey, and you're together. I mean, it was, but I think that was their whole vibe. I got it, got it, got it. Because hey, look, I've worked for him and I did not... You know, wrote that fucking thing from him. I had never gotten that vibe out of him. Um, no, it was it was actually strange. And he never talked about it. it. Yeah. Um, so because they were, I think they were. Yeah, they were. They were married at that time um, when mm -hmm. uh, when I worked for him, and uh, never said nothing, anything about it. It's totally a professional dude. So again, I don't have a bad word to say about him. I think I said this on another show. I'm not sure if so it's this she one talks or about the swinging. She talks about the swinging in here and. He, because he put a tweet up uh, a couple hours ago that just said, I was about to push the button on a really snarky tweet. Then I saw my son, my daughter, and wife, and I deleted it. And then he just posted a heart emoji, right? Um, what a bitch. Yeah. And there's something here that he said, uh, life is good. And then he encouraged fans to text him for the truth, adding his community app phone number. Yes. Uh, my sister. Brianna is trying to get us to talk to these guys that have this app so that we can have a number for people to call us. That would be fucking rad. Yeah, and text us. Dan, do you know about this community? Dan's off camera here from Drinking Bros. Do you know about the community app? No. It is a, an app called Community that has phone numbers and you can get like listeners and shit to text you and everything else, right? And it's just through this app. So I just read about this today. You have like a this, phone number. Yeah. And then he gives, so he gives out this phone number and it's a real, so he says for the no, truth. Yeah. For the truth, text me one three one nine five one nine. must have invested in this app. Zero five seven six. That's what I was thinking too. And look, a lot of people don't know this about him, but he, he's That's an angel he investor in like yeah, all yeah, the biggest yeah. tech companies there is. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking loaded. Yeah. He's fucking loaded. And it would, when their, when their divorce happened, it came out in the trial that he was worth like $500 million or something like that. And it was all from these crazy, like Uber yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the shit that he owns. Uh -huh. um, so she goes on to say in this book, I put him first. So when he expressed his fantasy of bringing a third person into our bed, I didn't say no. I wanted to show him how great and fun I could be. I the could see that being her fucking idea though, dude. Right? Yeah. So I was like, what? Because she felt like she was probably losing him. Younger kid, whatever. And she probably brought it up so she goes on to say i was strangely flooded with shame um shame is the, the fucking go-to keyword these days um i couldn't shake the feeling that this whole thing was somehow my fault uh the threesomes contributed to their splits according to her and uh but it was ultimately his alleged affairs that ended the relationship and she said because we brought a third party into our relationship Ashton said that blurred the lines and to some extent justified what he had done, I guess, like sleeping with other chicks, right? So we need to get that number because we need to call him. Text him. For the truth. Text him, yeah. You for the text truth. him for the truth for the, or you call him? I don't know. I don't okay. know what you do with that. I, I want to find out what this we'll figure that app out is, after but uh, maybe it's a whole 
plan between the two of them to get the community app out there. But either way, that sounds awesome. And I want in on it. Um, the guy is fucking brilliant, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think reading this, it's like, yeah. She's no angel in this fucking shit, right? She was married to Bruce Willis. I don't think she makes herself out to be an angel, though. Well, she it, once you start bringing "I was shamed" and all of this other stuff, it's yeah. like, man, you were in the brat pack, running with all those fucking crazy people, doing cocaine all the time. Yeah, you're gonna tell me that didn't happen back then? You were married to Bruce Willis, right? The biggest movie star on the planet for fucking twenty years. Yeah. You're going to tell me that Bruce wasn't like, hey, man, let's just dump some blowout on this prostate and find out what happens tonight? Like, come on, Sure. Man. I bet you Cooch called up Bruce Willis because they're fr- Cooch and Bruce. Brook. Bruce. Brooch. Bru- Bruch. Bruch. There it is. Cooch and. Cooch and Bruce. I bet you Cooch and Bruce called each other and were like, hey, man. I bet you. Here's Bruce, right? I bet you called and was like, hey, Ashton. Come on, man. I used, we used to have fucking circus performers in the goddamn bedroom. Right. You know? Right. And I, I bet you they had a good hearty chuckle about all of this shit. Now, for her, I understand why she's doing it. You got to sell a book. So your stories have to be fun enough that you can leak ex- excerpts to whatever publication and then get people to buy your book. It would be right? a lot more fun if she wasn't the victim in that, though. So I think so. I'd be interested to see how she... Um, Tell you what talks about other stories in the book, like because if she's a victim the whole way through, yeah, because be the, interesting. But. The other one was that she took, and this is a he's not confirming this, but he is kind of confirming it. John Cryer, the, the, there is there is a story out there that she took his virginity at fourteen years old, and she was. We don't know. I don't know the age gap in this right now. And we have no way to find that out. No way. There's not any because we have no computer that, that works for Jesse. Can find out. All he responded to, though, was this. He said, "Look, whatever happened, I definitely wanted this to go down." Right. So, as of any, saying, yes, he's saying. he's saying this. Yeah. Okay. As with any 14 year old dude, if fucking Demi Moore, I don't know what this age gap is, and I know you're gonna look it up. What is it? Three years. Oh. Ah, it's not terrible. Dan is saying it's covered under Romeo and Juliet laws, so he's good. Um, I don't even know how you know that, Dan. <laughs> Actually, pretty startled, and I don't want you around my wife and or my mom or any other it's female two in my life. Years di- it's two years difference. Two years difference. Yeah. Well, ah, two, two and a half age difference? That's weird. It was on a show. Fifty-four and fifty-six. It was on a show called yeah, Two and a yeah. Half Men. Um, maybe oh. that's what that's how they get, they came up with it. Um, if I'm John Cryer, uh-huh. boning out Demi Moore this at that age, life at fourteen, would be a different story. He's probably no, dude. He was on Two and a Half Men. He fucking raged. Like yeah. that's he was making a million a, an episode for God knows how many years on that fucking thing. If Charlie Sheen didn't fuck up that. That amazing tugboat. Probably still be going on. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Cryer was all in. Why wouldn't shoot a million an episode? Who took over for Sheen? Was uh, it somebody else? Did he get killed off too? It was yeah, Ashton Kutch. Kutcher. Wait. Whoa. Wait. Whoa, yes. Whoa, wait. Whoa, oh, whoa, my whoa. God. My mind is now blown and altered. She fucked two and a half men. Yep. On the two and a half men. Both of them. And two probably, and a half year age difference. And let's be honest, probably. Alex Jones was on last night. It's all a conspiracy. Holy shit, Jesse. And probably Charlie Sheen, to be honest. God with you. damn it. I you am... know they fucking hooked up, right? Who? Charlie Sheen and Oh, Demi I'm Moore. sure. Yeah. I'm sure he got his wood poked on by, by her. Is that a thing? Should be. His wood poked on? Yeah, but she put, her, that... she put her beak on that wood, you know? Boom. She's kind of poking in there. Like a little woodpecker. Um, man, that is a sexy. weird a fucking roundabout to... of people, just sharing people on that one, right? Look, I think Hollywood is smaller circle. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it a, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take it even further. She goes on to say that she found out that the one that put her the, over the edge was that she saw a tabloid story of Ashton Kutcher walking out with a blonde that he had railed after at Danny Masterson's bachelor party. Danny Masterson went on to do the ranch with Ashton Kutcher. 
and then we're really starting to really tie the room together here. I think maybe he only does projects with people that everybody's fucked. Or in fucked. Scientology, yeah. Yeah, or that everybody's fucked. He's not in Scientology. Who? Ashton Kutcher. Danny I'm Masterson not sure is. Masterson is. He is I'm yeah. sure they all kind of went to a meeting at one point. Fuck, You man. try it out. Everyone tries it out. God damn it, at dude. At the Celebrity Center. Yeah. I wonder if that's the part of the Q&A when you sit down, because they put you on tape. All Everything you do is on tape, and then they keep the tapes, right? Mm -hmm. That's how they try to hold you for, for so long. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they said, hey, man, would you like to fuck all of these people? All of your friends, would you like to fuck them? The answer's probably a resounding yes at that point, yeah. right? 22, 23. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you just came out for crack addiction, whatever it was. I'd be like, eh, yeah, I'd like to give, give my bone out to everyone, you know? Uh -huh. um, and then they get you guys all together, and then, boom, it's a trail of tears afterwards. Right. And you get all these jobs, you do all this shit. Maybe I should have fucking done that, man. Gone just full Scientologist and said, fuck it. it there was a question there for a second, because I was seeing people. For you? Yeah, I mean, I was seeing people go to the meetings. Yeah. And the way they would talk about it is like, listen, I'm just trying to get parts or whatever. You just go to these meetings. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, my biggest problem was I had a neighbor who was, and he couldn't get fucking arrested. So I was like, eh, yeah. it's not working for everybody, bro. Yeah. And he's losing 18% of his salary. You do what you will with the actual meetings and networking that you do, right? Mm -hmm. But you'll definitely get a number in in the meeting in, at the celebrity center okay on franklin all right but at that point yeah and i'm real susceptible to group think you are so i was just a little bit worried you would have gone in to jonestown yeah yes 100 percent. like you're you're the first candidate that i picture I would have moved to Canada. yeah you would have been yeah, the cult yeah, you've been yeah, wearing yeah, the, the yeah. white keds oh yes yeah the whole thing yeah I'm not very cultish. I probably would have laughed it off and been like, hey, man. Sure, sure. Can I so I need to stay I have no away patience from stuff for like, like that. Yeah. yeah. But for you. Mm -hmm. Tiny, tiny brain. brain. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny Easily brain. Easily persuaded. You would have gone way deep into it. Mm -hmm. Shit, Jabes. Yeah. So it's a little scary. I need to kind of stay away from stuff like that. Yeah. Step it out. Mm -hmm. You got to step out of that. So I couldn't even go to the meeting. But, so I can't really report on what it would what it was like. But, I remember when you went to one of those like uh, it was like a makeup or a CBD thing or whatever it was, and you came back and you were like, "Man, they almost got me." And I was like, "Really?" Uh, yeah, yeah probably. You feel like you were almost got on that. Like you were I gonna think have it better was life. Lulu Row, maybe Lulu Row. I don't know if that is, but I remember talking it's to you. It's a multi-level like, marketing clothing. Ah, so there's clothing, skincare, CBD. Hair products. So they got all the, the things they that, have it all covered, that yeah. women want. Yeah, jeans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen a jean one yet, but oh. yeah. Well, maybe you should add that to the, to the list. Okay. Uh, let's get to the revolution I figure today. We'll throw this out to L. Ron Hubbard then, dude. Man, starting cults, bro. Starting cults changing lives. Yeah. Who would have who thought a failed science fiction writer mm -hmm. um, could just write a fucking book and then all, like years, like he's been dead for a while now, right? I think mm -hmm. he's ashes or bodies in some fucking weird like hollowed out oak tree somewhere they're trying to hide it okay um and only like three people know or whatever it is who would have thought writing a book 50 60 years ago whatever it is you would end up controlling half of hollywood with this type of shit yeah wild isn't it where's shelly miscavige that's all i want to know but other than that what's what's the uh is that the the ship leader's so that's wife? The wife of the miscavige david David Miscavige, Miscavige guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they can't find the wife. Oh, she's missing. It's one of those where they're weekend. It's apparently weekend at burning, burnizing her. Really? Uh, and that was Leah Remini's big thing, where she was like, she asked about Shelley at some event, and okay. they were like, "Don't you ever fucking ask about her, or whatever." And she was just like writing her, calling, like calling people. So, I just want to see her. I just want to like hear some her voice. Uh -huh. I want to see like a picture of her with a newspaper from today. Just want to know that she's alive. It's like Reddit when you do and an ask me anything. Not, yeah, you get a whole card. They will not show that. So really, she is somewhere. So people are still looking for her. Yeah. How long has it been going on? Uh, years now. Leah Remini started this what two years ago? Shit. Three years ago. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Yeah. I, I I wonder at what point the Scientology is actually going to come down. Maybe never. I think I think sooner rather than There's later. There's like tiny cracks. cracks. Yeah. Tiny. Yeah. It's just such a big organization. I, I know. Think bigger than we even know. So it it will take a really long time. Yes, it will. Uh, but I, I think eventually. 
Because I don't think millennials give a fuck about this type of shit. No, but you have to give a fuck about it for it to be investigated. You know what I'm saying? Right. So eh, maybe it'll be like, you know, just keep going on for at a smaller level, like sure. strip malls and shit like that. Sure. Uh, either way, last question here. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking of Bernie, if, if we changed it to instead of Burning Man, it was just Bernie Man. Bernie Man? Yeah. And then you burn that, the guy from Weekend at Bernie's, like a big thing of him. Then would you I'd be in? Be in okay, yeah. Cool. But it would have to be somewhere close. Mm hmm. Um, no desert, no heat, no heat, no desert. I'd like it to be in, in just a, like a nice, the lobby of a really nice hotel. Like a Marriott. Mm-hmm. And then I'll go. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. Yeah. We'll see if I can hook that up. And then it'll up. be samesies. Yeah. I could say I went to Burning Man, you know what I mean? Well, Cause Bernie, it'd be the exact Bernie same. Man, Bernie yeah. Man. Bernie Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'd be great. And then he could be the, the guy. You think Bernie's still alive? The actual the weekend. Guy who... Yeah. Weekend at Bernie, the actual Bernie. Probably right. I hate using this thing. He look. Uh, I hate using this thing. You just said about your computer. Mm. I hate using this thing. I bet he's alive. Is he, guys? I I don't know. He looked really great in that movie. He looked really really <laughs> good in that movie. I th- I, f- I think come he'll on, hold come up on, for a while. Come on, come on. So Terry Kaiser. Okay. He's alive. Kaiser Permanente. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Yeah, he's the owner of Kaiser Permanente. Was he? No. It would be great if it was. <laughs> nope. It would be great if it was, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be great, wouldn't it? Either way, cheers. He slept with Demi Moore. Did he really? Nope. Oh, that would have been money, <laughs> wouldn't it? It would have been awesome, too, if he did it with his, his sunglasses on and just didn't move. Oh, he yes. starfished her. What if, he, what if Bernie he starfished her? He wears those her? sunglasses in every picture, like every image. If you Why go not? to like images. If you're fucking Bernie, Why then you not, have to bro? give the people what they want, man. Absolutely. For Christ's sake. I like it. It, like if I'm, if I'm out and somebody wants a fucking Vandenham call, I give it to them, dude. You give the people what they want, You Jabes. give it even if they don't want it. Yeah. Well, you have to. Yeah. You do and you don't, Jabes. Uh, this was a fun, weird show, as always. And I'm proud of you. This is the most you've ever used a computer on this show. Yeah, and it was like three or four times, dude. Yeah. I feel like you're learning. Um, I'm like a businesswoman at this point. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, a.k.a. The Businesswoman, uh, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Can't wait to take your online classes. <laughs> I'm, it's it's going to be called I'm Basically a Businesswoman at this point. 